we have created the model well, let's try to train the model so before training there are some important concepts that you need to keep in mind so for a training model there's a loss function and there's optimizer the loss function is a concept which we are trying to minimize so minimizing a loss means while we are training and trying to map it to some entity we compare how accurate our model is so when the loss function is reducing from higher value to a lesser value it means our model is training accurately or it is going towards high accuracy so let's try to train the model here so it's been trained so here you can see the loss value is fluctuating and it's trying to go down but if you increase the number of epochs to like more than uh, four or five epochs, you can clearly see the number of epochs going down. So let's try to increase the number of epochs here. Let's say the number of epochs as three. So in the epoch one, it's going through the data set and it's trying to train. So we can see the accuracy is fluctuating the cross uh, loss function is also fluctuating. So this is still the epoch one. Let's take a look at the next epoch. So now the loss value is going down. It's around 0.28. And the accuracy is also increasing little by little. So this value fluctuates. So that's the nature of training. But after a decent number of epochs, when we, we can get a decent accuracy and the loss value be reduced. So you can see the final loss is lesser than the previous epoch and the accuracy is also improved. Okay, we're almost done with the training. Next part, we have the train model and this is on the training data. And now let's take a look at how accurate our model is. So we are feeding in the testing data and a particular batch size for the testing and printing the loss and the accuracy. So you can see the training accuracy is much higher than the testing accuracy. So this can be uh, different from data set to data set. We haven't trained this data set for a high number of epochs. So when you're trying to uh, follow this tutorial, increase the number of epochs, change the batch size, and change other parameters and try to observe the loss and accuracy. And this is one of the exercises. So you can take a look at it and answer this question. And finally, what we have to say is go through all the material, read it carefully and try to replicate it and also uh, try to answer these questions. So that's about this tutorial.